Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a good weekend. The tropics are active, which is common this time of year. There is some good news to pass along, especially with Nigel. That looks to stay out to sea, even to the east of Bermuda, by a good measure. I want to get into that, but a few spots that are going to be developing throughout the week. So we need to keep a close eye on those as always this time of year. So here's what's going on. There's Nigel. Even as it gets closer to the Azores, it'll be weakening in the Azores. Some of the remnants of Margo nearby, some gustier winds the next few days. But we'll get that strong tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa tomorrow and Wednesday. I do believe that will develop. Models are still split on that. I want to show you the American and the European model in just a second. And then this spot here, it's that time of year. We watch some old fronts in the Gulf of Mexico, parts of the Atlantic, even down through the Caribbean. There could be a little spin up here off the coast of Florida near the northern Bahamas later this week. Then that would lift to the north. So let me tie everything together. First the American model. Now, first thing is first with Nigel. Here's Bermuda. Look at this front. All of this allowing this to curve. High pressure has not been super dominant this season, allowing a lot of these systems to curve. This, as we go through the middle of the week, will be off to the east of Bermuda and staying to the south and east of uh, eastern Canada, which is good news. The Atlantic region of Canada, this one will stay away. Now, a couple things I want to watch after that. This spot here in this spot right here. So let me take you out into the end of the week. This is by the time we get into Friday. Now, this is when we could see something spin up subtropical or tropical off the coast of Florida and then eventually lift to the north. It's with an old front. So I'll keep an eye on that. Nothing super alarming at this point, but that's an area I'm going to watch. And then the American model sees these strong tropical waves coming off but the American model is not really developing them a whole lot. I'll show you the European model, which does develop them uh, in one, potentially into a hurricane. You see, as we get into next week, so this is a week from now, we could see whatever is left of uh, this kind of coastal thing swinging up to the north. And then you see here, the American model is not showing a tropical storm or hurricane down here, which is good. It is showing some moisture in the Caribbean, which is also good. Hopefully, we could get some rain without a big time system moving in since we need to get some of the rain. So the American model is showing some activity, but not really blowing it up into a hurricane. Now, the European model is different. So here's the Caribbean, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Uh, you get toward Trinidad, you get toward uh, Guyana, Belize over here. Here's the east coast of the United States. You get over toward Nova Scotia here. This right here, that is Nigel. And it's this front that is going to help keep Nigel away. High pressure is a blocker. This area of high pressure is way over here, and that is allowing Nigel to curve sooner. If this area of high pressure were right here, that could drive this more off to the west, but that's not the case. High pressure has not been so dominant, so you see Nigel making the turn. Now, look what happens next. This is by the time we get into Wednesday morning. So one front catches Nigel, and then we're going to start to watch what's happening. So we've got this front here. Here's Bermuda, by the way. I just want to circle that. Again, a safe distance off to the east is Nigel, which is very important. Yes, the higher sea is not diminishing that, but that's going to stay way over here. But it's this spot here, the American model and the European model, all the models are seeing this. The American model is not really developing it. The Canadian model, the German model, and the European model, which is this, is developing this area. I do believe it is going to develop. Now you can see here, so we're going through the end of the week. This is by the time we get into Friday. This is uh, by uh, later on Friday. And you see this spot here developing. Late week into the upcoming weekend, that area could develop into a tropical depression. And then this spot uh, showing some signs of development here. So still these two spots to watch as we go throughout the week. This one will be kind of a broader uh, wind maker. It doesn't look like it's going to uh, be this uh, huge system uh, with that said, I'll wait and see because the water is so warm, but that'll kind of curl up to the north. But then this one here, the European model really does develop that. So bringing you into the weekend, this is by the time we get into Sunday and then next week, a week from now, this would be Monday into Tuesday of next week. Stopping the clock here on Wednesday. This is Wednesday of next week. The system here, now if this holds, that gives me a little uh, hope that this would take a curve. So a tropical depression or tropical storm by the middle of next week. So we're looking about 10 days out. I like the latitude on this. Again, it's not down here, which is good. It's more up here. So hopefully it takes a turn. But there's that area of high pressure. We need to see how strong that is. Does that help it kind of turn back? A wait and see on that. But I just want to let you know what I'm watching for you as we go throughout the week. There is Nigel. It'll make that big curve. It will become a major hurricane later today. 
that's category three or greater, but right where we like it, over the water. So yeah, it's been a really busy uh, season. Again, Lee is done with. Margot, the remnants out there near the Azores. Nigel's what we have now. Ophelia, whatever spot gets named next, uh, we'll get the name Ophelia. That could be off the coast of the Carolinas, Florida, and Georgia, or it could be the area coming off of Africa. We'll wait and see. And then after that, Philippe is the next name. Now, we've been seeing this blow up of rain and storms near Panama, even parts of northwestern Colombia, some extra rain in Costa Rica, spotty El Salvador, Guatemala, and as we work our way over toward Belize. So showing you the forecast, hit or miss storms. Thank you for leaving those comments, by the way, because some spots have been too dry. But occasionally, we've been getting a few showers and storms around, and they could be quite strong hit or miss storm Dominican Republic over toward Montserrat Sabo we could see a storm St. Martin we could see a storm Honduras uh, a little bit more action by the time we get into tomorrow but this is our Tuesday still a lot of rain down here Jamaica passing shower or storm and then you see as you get toward Barbados St. Lucia Montserrat over toward Guadalupe Dominica a few more showers and storms possible and then you see a little extra rain around boy I hope that holds near Barbados by the time we get into Wednesday it's still a wait and see if some of this moisture could creep in, but at least we're seeing some signs of a little extra moisture around because we definitely need it. As we swing back to the eastern Pacific side, this area here may develop far away from the southwest coast of Mexico. So for today, rain chance ticking up a little bit in Trinidad and Tobago, 30 to 40 percent chance over the next few days. You see by the middle of the week, Barbados showed you that area of rain nearby, slightly better chance of rain. Same thing in St. Lucia. By the time we work our way into Wednesday, higher rain chance. Dominica, we're looking at a 20 to 30% chance over the next few days. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, rain chance, very minimal, but we've had some passing showers around. Antigua and Barbuda, 20% chance of rain today, very minimal the next two days in Grenada. By Wednesday, we'll see a chance of that passing shower possible. Jamaica, scattered showers and storms in our outlook. Generally, the afternoon variety, 20% chance today. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Puerto Rico, some isolated storms staying on the hot side, 20% chance running through the next few days, which has been very consistent. U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. Anguilla, rain chance to the next three days at 20%. Belize, a 30% chance today, 40% chance tomorrow, 40% chance on Wednesday, and a 30% chance of some showers uh, in the Bahamas today. Best chance, Northern Bahamas today, where we've already had some showers. Northern Bahamas, about a 50% chance today. St. Martin, uh, Saba, Stacia, rain chance running at 20 to 30%. 30% chance the next uh, two days in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. 40% chance by Wednesday. 30% chance Cayman Islands. And as we get back toward the Turks and Caicos, rain chance 20%. All right, 40% chance today in Haiti. Some afternoon storms possible. 40 to about 50% chance in the Dominican Republic. Staying very hot the next few days. Aruba, at least the next two days, mainly dry. This is close to 0%. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Fingers crossed we get something. Guadalupe, 30% chance for today. We get back toward Martinique, 20% chance today, up to a 40% chance on Wednesday. I showed you some of that rain around Costa Rica and Panama. That rain chance stays high, 20% chance in Guyana, 20% chance as we work our way into Suriname. Guyana and Suriname, slightly better chance the next few days, up to a 40% chance northern Venezuela by Wednesday. So we're going to be staying hot. Few storms will be around. Nigel off to the east of Bermuda, which is huge. We've got that strong wave coming off the coast of Africa. I do believe that will develop. Hopefully it takes that turn. Wait and see on that. And then watching near the southeast coast of the United States. So lots to cover throughout the week. We're going to see together how these evolve. Thank you for being part of this weather community, sharing this with others and taking the time to subscribe. Have a great rest of your day.